Hey what's guys, Morty Mini here. We're gonna be reacting to a deep dive into Cyberpunk 27 gameplay. You came here to watch me react, not to watch me talk, unless you are always sick to the end, but we're reacting right now. Make hey, sure my phone don't right. God damn, this is loud. Let's do this. Oh, they got a hydro I forgot what it's called. You won't give out potential. Ice bath. It's a simple term. Someone's my brother literally texts me as I'm reacting. Okay. What now? Barry. Johnny. Barry. On a blanché. A little confused. Where are we? Our BBS, Data Fortress. Bridge to the deep net. Welcome to the Cyberpunk 2077 2019 Deep Dive video. Deep In last year's dive. gameplay reveal, we showed you our vision for the world of Cyberpunk 2077, its quests, and visual design. This year, we'd like to give you a peek at some of the Yo. play styles you'll be able to adopt as your character progresses through the story. You're, no. enough. You're about to see sequences embodying two distinct approaches to playing Cyberpunk. We'll show you a strong solo build, that is, a character who focuses on employing blunt force and taking instant action. And a Netrunner build, a playstyle taking frequent advantage of stealth tactics, hacking, and battlefield control achieved using malicious software. What? Additionally, you'll learn more about Pacifica, one of the game's districts. Two gangs, the animals and the voodoo boys. And you'll see glimpses of Johnny Silverhand, the digital construct of character V. A word of caution. Given that the video covers a section of the game deep into the main storyline, we have edited the footage to contain as few spoilers as possible. Oh, it's not. Be aware that the gameplay as presented does reveal characters and locations you'll see while playing the game's main story arc. So watch at your own discretion. She has content creators. We take this well, risk on. This way. This way. In this video, you'll experience a segment of a quest from the middle of the game. We're currently in Pacifica, one of Night City's six unique districts. No Pacifica, well. Nah. You guys aren't exactly great at rolling out the welcome mat for outsiders. I just it saw was designed to be a tourist right now. Sorry. Sorry. All right, I'm done. I'm done. As you can see, this didn't pan out. When uncertainty struck the global economy, investors pulled their funding, leaving most establishments unfinished. It's one of those places where expectations and reality collide, resulting in a heap of disappointment. Damn. Dude, motorcycles are you kidding me? Yo, first person, let's Outsiders go. Outsiders don't come here if they don't have to. Even by Night City standards, it's dangerous to those unfamiliar with it. Taking a Damn. casual stroll here would not be a good idea. A fast motorbike or armor-plated car would be the safer option. Oh, you probably get dumped very but easily. Places like this have their advantages. If you're in need of rare goods or illegal cyberware, Pacifica's bustling local markets are a good place to start your search. The Grand Imperial Mall is a whole other story. It was one of the last developments in Pacifica to lose its funding. Until recently, it stood vacant, 
But now a gang called the Animals has moved in for reasons unknown. Something's not going right for the big guy up top. And that's what we need to learn in order to earn the trust of the Voodoo Boys, the Animals' rivals. What the hell? Could fucking tell me what you plan to do first. You take job. You do what I say. So you chuck in now. Of the many gangs in Cyberpunk 2077, music. the Voodoo Boys are the most skilled at using the net. I've now seen the Grizzle Hagwe on Subnet. Why? What for? You are my vessel now. Do Hagwe, I see what you see, hear what you hear. This mysterious gang of highly skilled netrunners has close ties to the local Haitian community. Yeah, I saw that, right? UAV? We have been waiting. Haitians settled in Pacifica in the 2060s after natural disasters struck their island and forced them to emigrate en masse. The Voodoo Boys gang formed around this same time, though at a smaller scale. Now the gang effectively rules Pacifica. The Voodoo Boys don't usually work with outsiders. Lucky for us, it seems they're prepared to make an exception this time. Mr. Hansen, you said you got murk work needs doing. Still, to earn their trust, Damn. we need to prove our worth. Placide, one of the Voodoo Boys higher ups, has offered us a mission. We need to infiltrate the Grand Imperial Mall, currently occupied by the Voodoo Boys' deadly enemy, a gang called the Animals. 20, 35, 07, three seconds before, poof, the camionette. We try to learn where the camionette come from. The animals are not your normal gang. Their presence in Pacifica is suspicious. They value might above all else and wear melee combat implants to raise their prowess in combat. Their beverage of choice is juice, a potent strength and speed enhancing concoction. As sought after bouncers, they're usually dispersed throughout town. As skilled street level business types, they've caught. I'm probably not going to be able to have time to go back, so there's going to be a lot of pausing at this point. I bet you you could shoot it to the point where it falls on him. That'd be sick. I would so love to see that. the market in illegal substances and underground live-or-die prize fights. When they converge in one spot, it's for something big. It's then they appoint the fastest and strongest among them as their ad hoc leader. In this case, it's a woman named Sasquatch. I, I kind of had a feeling it's a woman. <laughs> No. That's, that's dope. As I remember, you said no bone brain buffaloes on steroids. I'm afraid that's the cost of doing biz. This is the tech Placide was talking about. It seems non-standard for the animals. And this is where we come in. Getting to the van won't be easy, but we're more than qualified for the job, which we can complete in one of many ways. Really? Character creation system are pitching now. The character nice. creation in Cyberpunk 2077 is the kind you'd expect from a full-fledged RPG. You start by choosing your past, important because this unlocks special Yo. options at important story junctures. You also fully customize your character using a deep customization system that spans not only your look and style, but also your abilities. Cyberpunk 2077 does not feature fixed classes. Instead, it has a fluid class system that allows players to mix and match a wide range of abilities That's to sick. suit their play styles. You can create a strong solo character, a skilled netrunner, or any other hybrid class that you can imagine. Let's see how a solo play style in Cyberpunk sick. 2077 might work. Solos prefer a direct approach. They use guns and might to get things done. So let's wreak some havoc. With our enhanced strength, we can strip this turret of its weapon to give the animals a taste of their own medicine. This is how a player investing in solo abilities might live out their Terminator power fantasy. Enhanced strength lets us force open doors. That's or grab insane. enemies to use as human shields. We also gain access to powerful melee combat cyberware. Ooh. So even someone as fast and strong as Sasquatch, the leader of this group of animals, is not impossible to beat for a solo. But Sasquatch has a different game plan. She's out to jack in and hack us. Let's see how this plays out. Ready for some fun? Oh, Proceed. What's going on? Now, 
It's our choice if we want to finish her off or spare her. You're cyberpunk, your rules. Oh. If you'd rather sneak around, hide, and strike from the shadows, no problem. Just develop your net running skills to get around obstacles or hack into enemy tech to have it do the dirty work for you. Yes! 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 Net running yes. abilities mean hacking skills that let us use our cyber deck to breach access points. For this, we fill the buffer of our cyber deck with a string of instructions represented by these letters and numbers. Matching the instructions for basic access grants us control of devices connected to this network. The more instructions we match, the more control we gain over elements no in the network. No way. We can hack our way through in numerous ways. A quick hack may grant us control of the security camera. Another one should let us tweak the difficulty of the training bot to create a distraction. With our nanowire, <laughs> we can even hack this guy's implants from a distance. This is looking like my kind of play style. In this world, almost everything is connected to a local network. This is my and kind of play style. And that means it can be hacked. Which brings us back to cyberspace. Dude, this is. You don't get to do my anything in the net unnoticed. There's always someone watching. It could be Corpos, or even worse, it could be Netwatch. And that is exactly the case here. Who is they? Netwatch. They always have to fuck us. Netwatch and the Voodoo Boys are like fire and ice. The first of these wants to maintain the old order and protect people from AI anarchy originating from beyond the Black Wall. The Voodoo Boys want to establish contact with the free AIs. They believe this will enable their boundless expansion on the net and grant them the upper hand over Netwatch. Netwatch sees this as the end of the world. Both are right. Whoa, hey. How you deal with the Netwatch agent is entirely up to you. Do we side with the gang? Choosing to be on Netwatch's bad side is never wise. But can we really trust the Voodoo Boys? You set me up! As you can see, we have many possible options. But in each case, we take a risk. I think I'll just stick to my point. <clears throat> Wait, you said they're both right, the end of the world. I kind of don't want to help the, the end of the world. Damn, I forgot I was reacting, honestly, dude. This is so, so into it. That didn't work out well. In the world of cyberpunk, few things go as planned. And that was just a glimpse of how complex the branching storyline in Cyberpunk 2077 can get. Every decision you make will have consequences. Your choices will shape how the world reacts to you and affect your relationships with those around you. One of those relationships is special. Ever heard of Johnny Silverhand, a rebel rocker boy who will be your companion throughout your adventure in Night City? Come on, really think they give a rat's dick how you look? Like everyone in Cyberpunk 2077, so he has awesome. his own agenda. You'll decide if he'll be your ally or your enemy. And that chip in your head, the one thanks to which Johnny lives inside your mind. Well, that's a story for another time. I can't even. I. I'm not even gonna go. I just have to talk. I. Like, I wanted to. I forgot I was acting at one point. This is awesome. Like, not even story. It's a first person slash third person shooter RPG with limitless possibilities. It's like every game that I like came to freaking together. Everything I like about a game, besides it being competitive, just came together. And is this game, dude? Like, the head on stuff was awesome, but dude, the freaking. 
hacking approach to going stealthy, dude. Literally, my style, the customization, the full on customization is awesome. Like, I like, dude, honestly, if I can get both, like, if I'm able to forcefully open doors and do everything that the stealthy Strike person from the can, shadows, oh my god, no problem. Like, this is awesome. Just this. develop your net running skills to get a Look at this, like, uh, you can already tell that the question marks are detections. They got detection. Oh, I didn't even notice. Look at that radar on the bottom left. Round off. I think after you, like, the cool are hacking down. I think you can you get a radar of the place after like you do the access granted and you hack stuff. Enemy tech to have it. Dude, this is like the best part. Did I not just say earlier? That'd be so dope if you could like shoot it, bro. What if you like? Oh, what if you were the super um? What if you're the head-on class? And instead of hacking it, right, you just walked up to him, freaking just, boom, just pushed down the weight on him. Like, I know that's gory, but dude, this is cyberpunk. It, do the dirt. Bench spray. Oh, dude, does it lead to damage, damage enemies with falling targets, dude. I hear, get up, get up, get up. Oh my god. Net running abilities That's mean so hacking hot. skills that let us use our cyber deck to breach access points. Like it's breaching access points. This we fill the buffer of our cyber deck with Wait, a string of instructions right like, represented you... by these letters and numbers. See camera lag. Okay, so camera lag. Officer trading proto program prototype encrypted data. I'm assuming. I mean camera lag. It just sounds like the camera like is. I don't know. Matching the instructions for basic Side access grants us control of devices connected to this network. The more instructions we match, the more control we gain over elements in the network. We can hack our way through in numerous ways. A quick hack may grant us control of the security camera. Dude, Another one should that? let us tweak the difficulty of the Thank training you. bot awesome. to create. Training robot override safeguards kill it. nearby enemies. A distraction, bro. But it looked like this guy was fine, though. It looked like he 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 was okay. Like yeah, like yeah, he got the But look at this. He's still moving around. He might not. I don't know. Yes, look at that. He's fine. He's alive. And a wire. We can even hack this guy's implants from a distance. See, this is awesome. Dude, this is awesome. In this world, almost oh everything God. is connected to a local network. And that means it can be hacked. Oh my god, dude. This is literally my play style right here. Going objective is sneaky wise. Can we just give appreciation really quickly? Appreciation to showing the motorcycle. Take this part. Like, I appreciate this. Like, look at this. I'm pretty sure this is a miles per hour, uh, the miles per hour, like 26, 25 miles per hour. I don't Outsiders know don't come. See the okay. This is the gears here. Right here. Yeah, they don't have to. Power. Even this by Night City awesome. standards, it's, it's dangerous to those unfamiliar with it. See, it says forty. I wonder if those are levels. It could be levels. Taking a casual stroll here, because like I don't see levels anywhere on the hood. Would not be a good idea. A fast motorbike or armor-plated. I do. The car would be car. the safer option. Oh my God, dude. dude, if I if. There's ever a camera angle when I'm riding a board cycle and it looks like that. But places like this have I'm their crying. advantages. If you're in need of rare goods, earn Let's the see. trust of the Okay, so those the are levels. Boys, the animals run. What does it say? And that's what we need to learn like that, in like order to like earn the trust of fast. the voodoo boys. Wait, what the hell are you doing? The animals rivals. What the hell? Could fucking tell me what you plan for. What the hell? The voodoo boy is deadly enemy. Like, but also, like, so you're all oh, the cop. Dude, look at his body, intelligence, reflexes, freaking technical. Oh, dude, life has that's what I like the most. Like, yeah, cool body, but I like okay, it's not the one I like the most, but I think that's such a cool, such like a mass effect thing. It's such a mass effect right there with the life pass. Like, I'm pretty sure in mass effect they have like where you can choose your backstory, like choosing your backstory, choosing like how your overall body looks, choosing your appearance, and choosing the attributes. It's absolutely awesome. Abilities Cyberpunk 20. Oh my god, gear, character, oh dude, look at that, weapons, you got your clothes, you got your chip, look, statistics, health, physical resistance, thermal resistance, chemical resistance, electrical resistance. 77 does not, not feature. Look at that, handguns, rifles, blades, hacking intelligence, freaking shotguns two-handed, 
body, character level, value, cool, technical, freaking nerve, sniper rifles, engineering, fixed classes. athletics. Instead, it has a fluid class system. Bio monitor stats that allows players to mix and match a wide range of abilities to suit their play styles. You can create a strong solo character, Fuck. a skilled netrunner. Fucking hell, dude! That was sick. That didn't work out well. It's to you and affect your relationships with those around you. One of those relationships is special. Ever heard of Johnny Silverhand? A rebel rocker boy who will be your companion throughout your adventure in Night rebel. City? Come on, I really think they give a rat's dick how you look? Like everyone in Cyberpunk 2077, he has his own agenda. You'll decide if he'll be your ally or your enemy. Freezer, get in to tell me I gotta get in that. And that chip in your head. The one thanks to which Johnny lives inside your mind. Well... That's a story for another time. Oh, I'm chipping. Shut up, I'm so like, yes, it's on PC. Just making sure. Hell yeah, it's on PC. Thank you guys so much for watching this reaction video for Cyberpunk 2077. I'm going to be so disappointed the Blind Prophet hasn't. Uh, seeing this yet. I'm gonna be super disappointed if he does not make any content. Else. Actually, I'm getting on him right now about making content for this game. Hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you guys um, check out my other videos. Make sure you check out uh, Blind Prophet's uh, channel. He does make content on Cyberpunk 2077. He makes really interesting videos about this game. So, hope you guys enjoy. If you guys are uh, looking for more content, check out his channel. Check out my channel. And, um, yeah, bye bye. It's me and you. Game over. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Start the video off right.